Bush called the Enya KV is a true SUV. Because based on the MVP platform, it shows very special and different proportions. It has a very short overhangs, but it shows a long slooping roof line and therefore a big space in the interior by having for this car, I think, one of the brand values of Škoda Auto. And of course, it shows a very characterful side graphic and typical for Škoda, it shows a very crisp Donato line which runs throughout the whole car. Speaking of which, that's actually one of my favorite points of the side. It just goes all the way down here, kinks up, and it kind of meets the rear window. Again, very muscular looking. I'm happy with that. Another thing that I think is really great as well are your new 21-inch wheels. Tell me about those. Yeah, we offered here a very nice special design for the Enyaq here, offering similar to a turbine. And you can see as well with twisted surfaces on the level, we give it a lot of character and it let the lights flow. And speaking of aerodynamics, I think I'm right in saying that this has got a drag coefficient of 0.26. I've done my homework. Yeah, of all you can see it, as we said before, it has a very sloopy roofline on the one hand, also a very long spoiler on the back. And of course, we in, uh, incorporated as well a lot of air brakes around the car. Have a look here on the rear lamps with the Skoda typical C design and crystal elements. With the sharp brakes on the side, we continue in the bumper side and this air cut lowers the resistance of the car, which is outstanding, as you said. Absolutely. And now that I'm standing at the back of the car, Carl, I think that this is probably my favorite point of the car. It's low, it's squat, it's muscular, a little bit like me, maybe. Speaking of my favorite parts, Carl, what's that one thing that excites you most, where you think, yes, my team and I did such a good job? Yes, with the all new Skoda Enya KV, we did the next step of the Skoda design language. As you can see, it's not only crystalline and cubistic, but also we gave the cars as well a lot of sculpture now. Look here on the muscle, over the fenders on the front, but also to the back, which gives the car a lot of power, a lot of strength, and therefore a lot of character. So Carl, let's discuss the front end, because one thing that's crystal clear to me is the fact that this is an EV that doesn't shout about the fact that it's an EV, and that for you guys was really important, wasn't it? Yes, uh, the all-new Skoda Enya KV is of course a true Skoda, and therefore it should show as well a true Skoda face. And this we did with a very upright grill here, as you can see, hexagonal shape, and this time the lemmers are closed, because an AV only needs the air from the bottom here for the batteries. The grill is flanked by very characterful headlamps here, showing inside some crystal glass elements here, uh, for the daylight function and the position lamp, having incorporated as well here some eyelashes continuing the lamps of the grill. And the lamps also show brand new LED matrix technology. And there's also some special design technology that you haven't told me about. What is that? Yeah, and we created for the all new Skoda Enya KV the so called crystal face. It is an illuminated crystal because we say light is the new chrome. And therefore, we did it with 130 LEDs with a beautiful crystal treatments of the lemmers. It's outstanding, unique, and especially done for this car. Well, Carl, I have to say, the front end for me just works. We've got a nice big splitter at the bottom as well, inverted power dome on the bonnet, which I think looks great. And you can tell that Carl and his team are super proud of this car because you've put a massive Skoda badge on the front here. It's almost the same size as my hand. Yeah, it is the signature for our Skoda cars. It shows quality, identity, and of course, a lot of character. Skoda, simply clever. Hi. Hello. My name is Peter, responsible for interior design. Nice to meet you, Peter. Yeah, tell me more about the interior. Obviously, you guys pride yourselves in this being a home from a home, but I don't know about you, I do not have a steering wheel in my house. Well, you certainly have a TV at home, right? I do indeed. So therefore, our interiors are democratic. We treat everybody on board the same. Whether you are a driver, co-driver, even kids in the back, everybody has to see the big TV. When we created our, we call it design selections, our lines, uh, our designers, they looked how people live, look at the different lifestyle, and uh, then we created sort of interior architecture inspired homes. From loft, studio, uh, suit, 
lounge. So these are all the different styles you can experience in your homes. And we're obviously in the eco suite at the moment. Tell me a bit about that. The material in the interior wraps around you, gives you a very cozy, very soft feeling. We are sitting on a super comfortable seats. They are actually heated ventilated massage seats. And they're also tanned with olive tree leaf extract. Absolutely. The leather is tanned so, and the color is called cognac. So Peter, talk to me about this steering wheel. I have to admit, it's actually probably one of the best steering wheels I've seen in a long time. It's nice and small, it's attractive, perforated leather, three spokes as well, and it's also functional. Yeah, steering wheel has to be functional. I mean, first of all, it has to fit perfectly in your hand and you have to be able to operate it. Nowadays, most of our cars are operated by the touch screen. This is inspired by the people playing at home with their tablets, then going out with their smartphones, the same way they expect to operate the car. Nevertheless, touch is great, but sometimes while driving the car, you need as well a physical controllers. And therefore we are having here this beautiful free floating uh, rotary controllers you can control most of the functions by them. And look, they are having as well this uh, crystalline structure. And uh, this is something what comes from the tradition of Czech glass making. You find the same structure as well on the air vent controllers. And as well as a little jewel, you find here this little crystal stone on the steering wheel. Yeah, very nice. And away from eye level, looking upwards, Peter, we've got a really nice big panoramic roof and that's all touch operated as well. Oh yeah, same like in our homes, we need a lot of light in the interior to feel airy and therefore we are having as well in ENIAC the panorama roof. And what is your favorite part that you had input in? So for you, the interior, what's that one thing that makes you really excited and super yeah. proud? I would say this is this line which runs across the dashboard. It has something to do with our DNA. We call it Škoda line. You find it in the front of the car above the grill. Uh, normally where the logo is placed. This line is not only beautiful, but it has, well, has a function. If you control the car by the touch screen, you need a steady hand while driving. So therefore, we created the surface here. You can place your hand and you can operate the touch screen perfectly. Yeah, I'd agree as well. That is a really nice feature, like you said. Uh, and in front of me, we've obviously got a little display there and we've got head-up display with augmented reality. Yeah, this has something to do with the information. Our brains need to process while driving. In the old times, it was easy. You had the speed, you had maybe the temperature of the oil and that was it. Nowadays, we are overwhelmed by the information and therefore uh, we need it to cluster them. In the middle, you find the information regarding the infotainment. This one is dedicated for the, all the crew. Uh, in front of you, on the small screen, you find the information regarding your car and then the augmented reality head-up display is projecting the information to the front screen and these are the information regarding your journey. So basically the direction, things around you, your speed, so everything to make your journey pleasant. Skoda, simply clever.